Today, we're diving into the latest update from Steam, the popular gaming platform. They've recently rolled out a significant update packed with improvements and fixes across the board. If you're a Steam user or just curious about the changes, you're in the right place. We'll break down the key highlights in simple terms to keep you in the loop. Let's kick things off with the general updates. Steam tackled several issues related to controller support. They fixed pesky problems like wonky controller info displays, issues with family view during checkout, and incorrect notices for VR-only games. Additionally, they made improvements to accurately display available disk space when adding new library folders. These changes ensure a smoother gaming experience for users navigating through different games and controllers. Steam's Big Picture mode received some attention too. They've reintroduced buttons to game launch screens, making it easier for users to navigate and access games. Layout issues in various areas, such as quick access menus and game achievement pages, have also been resolved. These tweaks aim to enhance the user experience within the Big Picture Mode interface. One of the significant focuses of this update was Steam input enhancements. For starters, they fixed a blank desktop configuration page for those who opted out of Steam input. Moreover, they fine-tuned the gyro turn rate and gravity correction for better controller responsiveness. Calibration issues for specific controllers were addressed, ensuring smoother movements and reducing occasional jerks in gyro conversion modes. They also expanded controller support, adding compatibility for the Nacon Revolution, 5 Pro Controller and fine-tuning gyro turn rates for Nintendo Joy-Cons, and accelerometer readings for Sony DualShock controllers via Bluetooth. These changes aim to provide a more seamless gaming experience, especially for those using different types of controllers. In this update, Steam addressed platform-specific issues. For Linux users, they fixed overlay-related problems causing rendering stalls and crashes in certain titles, ensuring smoother gameplay. Additionally, an end-of-life alert was added for macOS 10.13 and 10.14, indicating that Steam client support for these systems will end on February 15, 2024. Lastly, Steam VR received some attention. The desktop game theater now captures non-VR applications only when visible in the headset, enhancing compatibility for certain games that require specific display settings. Various fixes were made to prevent the VR dashboard from appearing incorrectly during game starts and when it shouldn't. Steam's latest update brings a slew of improvements and fixes catering to controller support, interface enhancements, platform-specific issues, and VR improvements. These changes aim to create a smoother, more enjoyable gaming experience for all Steam users. We hope this breakdown helped you understand the key highlights of this update. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe.